Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Upper right hand corner, we have Tucson starting as the purple Terran. Bottom right hand corner, we have Machine starting as the gray Zerg. This is on Metaverse, and Tucson taking a quick victory over Machine in game one. Really convincingly so, too. Maybe Machine being will be a little bit more wary in this follow up matchup. One thing for Tucson, I gotta say, it is wise to take games early for a machine. Because if you let him sit back and do his just standard macro play, he has brutal, brutal macro style. And great commentator. Be sure to check him out again for people if they weren't paying attention earlier. Check out BSL again tomorrow. So this was kind of the feed off of the BSL stream. I feel like while I have a higher number of viewers, I should give the shout out to Optimunk. Um, and esports fund as well. Also, Rogues Gallery. Saw them funding, getting some good ads. If you guys, I think, honestly, Rogues Gallery is probably the most entertaining stuff all the way around that I've seen. It NA scene, it's, it just kind of lean into a lot of the NA's proclivities to the trash talking and the lighthearted uh, razzing of one another. Anyway, Machine opening up with an Overpool, or sorry, an Overlord first. Opener will see if he opts for an overpool build. He's continuing to drone behind this. Tucson building a supply depot on the low ground, suggesting he wants to go ahead and go for a wall, maybe to get an earlier command center. Overlord is going to come across his base first. One interesting thing I have not seen utilized on this map is potential earlier game lurker play. Looks like we saw a 12 hatch from Machine, by the way. He's already sending out an additional drone, potentially to go for a quick three hatch before gas. Actually, I take that back. Just sending out a scouting drone. We'll see if he goes three hatch before gas. He still hasn't grabbed gas as of yet. Spawning pool. Flopping down. Barracks hanging out. Just there. But yeah, Tucson, as he's moved through this bracket, has shown some pretty strong macro play, some really good relentless aggression in all of his matchups. It's been really entertaining and really fun to watch. Drone now drawing back since that Overlord scattered the natural expansion. First, Marine produced SCV scouting out. So maybe an attempt at the bunker play again, although I don't think it's going to catch Machine off guard. He went, I think that was around a 228 gas, somewhere around there. Three drones. No additional drone moving out as of yet. We'll see if he opts for two hatch play. Command center being built behind this wall for Tucson. Does have that SCV scout in. Seeing the gas timing. No Zerglings on the field just as yet. Looks like it's just going to be the pair of Zerglings for Machine. To engage this SCV returning home for Tucson. Grabbing a gas of his own. And actually, Tucson... Not keeping up the Marine production. I'm wondering if he... We'll see if he folds back to two racks play. But I'm almost wondering if he... We'll see if it goes Engineering Bay first, or maybe even folds over to mech play, potentially. Three SCV moving into gas. Second Marine being produced. Tech Delayer. Tucson sees it. Zerglings chasing down that SCV, trying to hurt it. So it looks like it is going to be a two-hatch opener for Machine. And it might just be straight two hatch muta. He's shown no indication that he's going to move out a drone to take an additional base. So the delay. Yeah, and it looks like it's going to be a factory build here for Tucson. I'm concerned for Tucson here because he's moved into factory, but the Spire is on the way. He's kept his Marine count fairly low. And it's going to be a while before an armory is in place and there's going to be sufficient anti air to deal with what Machine's going to be tossing at him. Academy being built. Zerglings starting to run towards the front. Going to be Hangout. We do see a second gas. So it is possible we're just going to see pure Mutilus from Machine. And as I say that, he's wandering a drone to the bottom left-hand corner to plop down a hatchery and play map control from there. So it looks like we might see is this the very classic Macro Zerg versus Mech and a starport being built from Dusan. This is so this is a very interesting version of some sort of 111. Because the factory's been lifted off. We're seeing no production of units here. 
This is certainly a build I have not seen in quite some time. Engineering Bay plopping down. We'll see if we're going to see an early Valkyrie, something along those lines. I assume we're not going to see a dropship. A dropship would be suicide. Spire finishes. Machine's going to have plenty to get an initial five Mutalisks, maybe even six Mutalisks, out in the air. At least four, five, going to be out shortly. Additional barracks being plopped down. We do see a control tower being plopped down. So I think, yeah, we're going to see... This is reminiscent of Fantasy Play back in the day to get a potential quick Valkyrie out with Marine support. Slew of Marines on the front. First Medic joining their forces. Some turrets being added in the natural expansion. Three barracks and a fourth barracks now being added. Armory finishes. Are we going to see the Valkyrie? Mulisks grouping up to engage. Tucson pretty well shelled up. He does have a lot of defense forces, but that factory floating over the natural is going to be an indicator for machine. Two marines, nice micro, able to pick off three marines very, very rapidly before that bunker's in place. Machine showing some nice macro right there. Additional turret being dropped, and there is the Valkyrie in production. But not before a medic was picked off. So Tucson, with all of this, I don't know he has enough firepower rapidly enough. And I think Machine might have wind of this. Let's see if he adds a Scourge. Because you need to defend that Valkyrie initially because it can be very, very vulnerable in small numbers. Machine opening up the front with the Mutalisks. SCV being pulled off the line to try to defend this. But Machine might open up a floodline for Zerglings to support. The Valkyrie sweeping out. Initially going to drive these Mutalisks back. Root prepare right there, also trying to do damage to this Overlord. But they need to be careful because, yeah, the Mutalisks get right on top of you. Be careful, alone Valkyrie. The Mutalisks regrouping. Machine losing a bit of control momentarily. The Barracks continues to burn. Third gas up now for Machine. And he is mining out of it. However, upon seeing that Valkyrie, let's see if he opts to continue with standard three hatch play, or if he's going to modify his build. Nope, he's going to go drop that queen's nest, make his way to hive, try to get the lurkers out. And Tucson, he might have trouble with this. He went, he's got Valkyries, but Machine can easily, as long as he doesn't over morph Hydralisks, should be able to defend easily anything that Tucson throws out at him. The one advantage for Tucson is he doesn't have to worry about air control for a good period of time. But pumping these Valkyries does cut into that Medic Marine count. And critically, he needs to make sure that he protects them, keeps them tight with that Marine Medic Ball to protect against the Scourge. Th but it's a time game now for Tucson as that third gas is up and running. Hive Tech about halfway finished. At a certain point, you do need to start rolling this back towards medic, the standard medic marine science vessel ball, but Tucson folding out, the Valkyries pressing forward, and the Marines immediately running into a lurker field. Machine repositioning, Scourge moving up, not able to land. The Mutals trying to engage what they can, keep the Marines in place, and that medic marine ball going to get wiped out. A lot of Mutals lose their lives, but it is worth it, as Machine able to now move lurkers on the low ground plateau. The Valkyries for Tucson trying to, first of all, get scouting information. Secondarily, maybe pick off some overlords. Second evolution chamber dropping. The barracks has been taken out on the front. Double bunker to defend for Tucson. Tucson in trouble. Fifth hatchery, bottom left-hand corner. Tucson actually in the red. And it looks like I might have missed it. Semitic Marines trying to sort their way through, but I think Scourge were able to take out those Valkyries in short order. So Machine in firm control of this match. Defiler Mound popping down another hatchery and an Ultralis Cavern as well for good measure. Tucson still has the supply lead, but late game tech advantage firmly in Machine's hands. Additional factories being plopped down for Tucson. It looks like he wants to try to go 
for a tank switch, potentially, to deal with what machine is going to be you know, trying to sneak. He had an SCV sneaking out in the field, but machine on top of it, sneaking those mutilists to the northern ridge to make sure that no sneaky bases were going to be taken. Nidus Canal Morphing to provide, first of all, a nice alleyway to get drones saturating that bottom left-hand base more rapidly. Double Evolution Chamber running. Adrenal Upgrades is not going to be that far behind, but also Machine has plenty of gas to start getting Ultralisks out in the field. And Tucson needs to get Vultures and Mines just to survive with his front shortly. Because otherwise, he's going to have Ultralisks, Defiler, and Star Swarm, which is usually a game-ending maneuver. Maybe Mines will be able to soften up the forces in between. It's hard to do this big a tech switch and it's extremely difficult to pull it off against machine just because he is a very strong macro oriented player some vultures out in the field there's the first dark swarm the defiler makes it into the protective cloud scourge patrolling just in case there's a drop ship along the way and now tucson needs to be very very wary because it does not take much to end the game with a Zerg victory at this stage. 5 factories plus 1 weapons hoping to somehow find a way to plant a third command center which seems optimistic to me. Streams of Zerglings starting to make their way across the field. Ultralisk armor not that far from finishing. The Zerglings being intercepted by a stream of vultures. Looks like that Defiler was taken out as well. Mines just finishing. Might be in the nick of time. And Tucson now positioning potentially to make the game drag on somewhat longer and grab his third. Mutalisks pecking away at those siege tanks. But Tucson might have accomplished it. Machine, very low on attack troops, has instead opted to grab the natural expansion in the bottom left-hand corner. Plenty of mines in the way. Hydralisks not able to clear them. Instead, face planting and just taking them out in groupings. Actually, decent trade situation. But Tucson somehow able to get aggressive and maybe might be able to slip these vultures into the natural and the main as well. And there are no defenses here currently. Some ultralisks in production shortly. But a lot of drones taking heavy damage. And Tucson somehow, in the midst of all this, maintaining an economic lead. Even establishing his third. So amazing play from Tucson. Zerglings sneaking out. Drones transferring from Machine up to the high ground a little bit too early. But able at least to box these vultures into a corner. Still additional losses being taken. And with this, finally some Ultralists take the field. Let's see if they can catch these vultures. They might be chasing them for a while. This is shutting down mining. However, machine's still mining at three bases. And the siege tank rallied to the wrong location is going to get an eye full of a sunken colony before exploding gloriously. Additional mines being planted on the front. Now, if additional siege tanks, the science vessel can take field. Tucson actually grabbing another command center, maybe wanting to float a fourth out. Zergling scattering everywhere, trying to clear the mines, and I think this might be a uh, misrallied tank. That's not the crowd you want to hang out with, Siege Tank. Ultralisks finding the way. But Tucson somehow up on supply, despite being sitting on two bases and transitioning to mech. I gotta say, impressive. And Machine is a strong macro player. However, Machine sitting on four gas. In theory, it'll be a matter of time before he really just gets the full upgrades and is able to seal the game from there. And this takes st still one of these factories rallied. Tucson's got to fix that if he's going to stay in this. Starting to move out with some Marines, heavily damaged, and some Vultures, maybe to clear out and clear some vision, maybe cap that 12 o'clock base. Mulus finally being cleared out by these Marines. Zerglings. Tucson actually being very diligent in clearing the Zerglings before they're able to get on top of the minefields. 
However, a machine now diving in with a huge amount of Ultralisks. I think he has sufficient numbers where he's not worried about taking the mine hits. And has filtered in a couple Hydralisks. So now the game is just keep those Hydralisks forward, clear out the mines, then send the Ultralisks in. Mostly positionally denying additional expansions to Tucson. Supply count has evened out. So Machine is caught. He has caught up. Tucson's still working with two bases. The main's getting somewhat thin at this stage. Unloading some SCVs to group attack that generator. But also Machine clearing out the front and getting dangerously close. A slew of Ultralisks diving in, but there's enough mines to soften them up. Good defense matrix on the front as well. So instantly being repelled. So with all of the explosive damage, some nice mine placements Tucson's holding, but he still has a misrallied siege tank. He's got a bit of delay. Yeah, he's got to get that generator down if he's going to accomplish something else. Machine, also not wary of Tucson sneaking another expansion upper left. So Tucson playing very greedy to get back in this match. Once again, dropping mines everywhere, looking to maybe disrupt this bottom left-hand base. Finding a lot of drones undefended at the mineral only. So Machine being a bit too aggressive, losing map control. And Tucson doing a fantastic job in this match has successfully transferred to late game mech. Single Vulture able to sneak through. There's a sunk colony going to be able to repel that though. But he's also managed to sneak this command center in the upper left hand corner. Some Zerglings on patrol not finding it and taking additional base at the 12 o'clock. And that's gonna be necessary because mech is expensive. He doesn't need to get control of those siege tanks that are constantly wandering down and dying. However, bit of a myth in play here. So if Tucson can hold all of this though, he will suddenly surge ahead. Right now he has a 20 supply lead. He's opening up the temple to potentially either push back or assault that three o'clock base. Machine with a lot of Ultralisks out in the field. He has the Hydralisks alongside, leading those Hydralisks to do the mine clearage. The Vulture's mining up the upper left to deny division. Zergling's doing some good mine clearing. Level 4 Carapace, level 1 weapons. Here, in the meantime, level 2 weapons, so upgrade lead actually there for Tucson. As far as the non-Ultralisk units. And the mines have really been doing a number on Machine in the interim. Machine repositioning a lot of Hydralis to the left. Sees a lot of movement over here, so he might be preparing or might have a sniff of this base in the upper left-hand corner. Another factor being dropped here. He's diving, but leading with the Ultralisks. A lot of mines there. Is it going to be sufficient? Three Ultralisks getting obliterated right there, and it looks like there are five siege tanks waiting. So Tucson, after a shaky opening, able to sneak right back into it, but we do have drops loading up for a machine. Has he spotted the 12 o'clock base? Is he going to unload short, or is he going to end up losing some of these troops to these turrets? Tucson immediately lifting off. He isn't going to wait to find out. So there's one base disrupted. We'll see if Tucson picks up and re-engages in the upper left. More Ultralis being fielded for Machine. He's got a sizable bank. Tucson's bank looking somewhat thin, but Tucson with the supply lead science vessels now starting to be added into an already formidable attack force. One problem for Tucson, though, is mech is expensive. He needs to make sure that he keeps these bases up and operational. Machine reloading the overlords, potentially to go for a drop in the upper left-hand corner. Tucson moving out. Potentially going to take down that temple and peek into Machine's natural expansion. Machine going for a huge amount of drops in the upper left. Ultral is getting on top of it. No swarm joining. And it looks like Machine going to eviscerate this base. However, Tucson counterattacking. Taking down the temple in between shortly. And shelling over the ledge. 
Tit for tat. Potentially this will hurt Machine more than it's going to hurt Tucson, though, as he's losing precious time with those upgrades. The upgrades not finishing, so both Evolution Chambers potentially going to get taken out. Tucson does need to retake upper left, though, or at least get another expansion up. Otherwise, he's going to end up starving out in this match. Machine, still mining on several bases, has the economic lead for now. Up in supply, but does have a big siege tank army breathing on his neck at his natural expansion. Machine re-establishing some troops towards his natural. Science vessels looking to sweep down and drop some irradiates. This is a pocket overlords taking a lot of damage. Looks like some scourge were able to sneak over and take some of those science vessels out. Machine loading up a drop to negate this assault over the ledge. There are a good amount of Goliaths in between here and there and reinforcing Siege Shanks and Goliaths pushing towards Machine's natural expansion. Machine with a big supply lead. A good portion of that is in drones. Let's see if he's able to repel Tucson's attack. Tucson locked into one base mining. So he needs to get it done with the army he's got standing. Huge amount of Mutalus sent a tech switch diving on Siege Tanks to the left. A Science Vessel sweeping up maybe to drop an Irradiate. But Machine quickly making work of that siege tank force. A nice irradiate as those mules were bunched up, but a quick split of what's left. And it looks like that science vessel is going to lose its life. Machine not bothering with the attack force at the three o'clock location. Instead, spreading out and making sure no additional bases were taken, maybe going to assault the final mining base of Tucson. Full control group of Mutalus Plus moving in, whittling down the siege tanks. Tucson opting to expand towards Machine and take that 3 o'clock base. Tucson needs those minerals. Vulture is able to sneak into the natural, taking out drones of Machine. Pelion now threatening the main. Now, does Machine have enough to defend? Bring those Mutalisks back. All sorts of Mutalisks, but does he have Ultralisks or other troops to go ahead and evict Tucson from his natural expansion? Counterattacking with Zerglings, they're getting cleaned up by mines. And there's so many Goliaths underneath. But is it enough? The Mutalisks looking thin. The Goliaths still pounding away. More Mutalists pressing forward, and it looks like there's not enough Goliaths to cut off the reinforcements. Tucson is out of minerals. And with a final swarm, that is probably the GG moment as the remaining siege tanks of Tucson are cleaned up. He has a 3 o'clock base that is left mining and very exposed. Machines still mining on several bases. And it is just a trickle of minerals coming in for Tucson at this stage. And just a cleanup operation for a machine. Tucson desperately trying to irradiate what he can. I think that science vessel, this group of siege tanks, and these Goliaths are basically all he has left. Shelling up around the 3 o'clock. But machine's still rolling and taking the upper left. Part of the problem for Tucson is he opened up a path to the third. This is not great territory to defend. The Goliaths are going to have a, their work cut out for them. Hydra's clearing out some vultures to the upper left. More Zerglings starting to surface. There aren't mines to defend anything at the main. Hydralisks also moving to reinforce, and Tucson realizes that he just doesn't have enough to clear this out. So that is going to be GG. Hope you guys enjoyed it.
that's going to be it for me tonight as well. Be sure to follow and subscribe and check out BSL ZZ0PL. ZZZ0. ZZZ0PL and zero PL. <laughs> on Twitch for more BSL action tomorrow. Special shout out to Artosis and everybody else. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.